our publisher told us this would be probably one of the hardest books that you could ever write. Yes. I mean, they, they warned us against this when we first came to them with a book proposal. They, they said, this is, there's a reason nobody's written this book. Fundamentals of Data Engineering. Whether you're looking to break into the field or brush up on your fundamentals, this book will teach you the ins, outs, and best practices of data engineering. Care to win one? Stick around to see how. Hello, data folks, and welcome to the Standout Data Show, where we share tips and tricks on how to drive more impact with data. Today, I am joined by the authors of Fundamentals of Data Engineering and the owners of data engineering firm, Ternary Data. Please welcome Matt Housley and Joe Reese. I've got some questions for you guys. The first one for Joe, what made you want to write a textbook sized book on data engineering? I mean, it turns out there's just a lot of material to cover in data engineering. Um, I mean, I would tell you the easy book to write would be a book on uh, data engineering with technology X, Y, or Z, right? But when you start to unpack a lot of the um, fundamental concepts uh, and practices in data engineering, there's actually quite a bit involved. And so uh, the book evolved from um, what we already knew was going to be a pretty big book to, I would say, a pretty humongous book. And I've got it on O'Reilly. I've started reading it. I'm very excited to get to the end of it. Cool. And I've got another question for you, Matt. What can a data engineer like myself get out of this book? So it comes back to what Joe was saying. It, uh, there are a lot of books about individual technology. They're frankly very good books, which we would highly recommend. But we didn't find something that was more holistic that kind of helped data engineering, data engineers to understand the big picture of the career and the profession and how to stitch together technologies. And so it, you could compare it to like a local travel guide that talks about what do you do in Paris versus a world map that talks about how the entire world economy works. And so we at least tried to get that bigger picture and we feel like that's what data engineers can get out of this. Um, they can get you know better picture of the career and how to stitch together technologies to do useful things for their businesses and their customers. And that leads me to our last question. Maybe one of you guys can answer what your favorite part of the book was and the other one, what your least favorite part of writing the book was. The amount of effort that you have to put into writing a book um, cannot be understated. And the amount that you grow while writing a book um, is, uh, I think, really amazing. And I'd say that journey of starting at point A and ending up at point you know, Z or, or beyond was, uh, you know, I think one of the more um, you know, fun parts of it. I would say the, the, t the, uh, the worst part was really that the writing a book is all consuming. And so, you know, Matt and I both run a business, um, you know, and have outside commitments as well. And running a business is hard enough. So you try and write a book on top of that and, uh, you know, have a semblance of a life. And I think that's, that's also the hard part, but it's also the fun part. Right. So it's, 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 it's interesting to be absorbed by a, a topic and, um, you know, I guess a project for what, a year and a half now. That's yeah. Yeah. That's all you think about. Significant so. undertaking. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's really exciting to stretch yourself in this way. Um, I've done plenty of writing in my life, just in academia and other areas, but like to write a 400 page book is kind of insane, but the really tough part is just like hitting, hitting deadlines. Um, you know, not getting a lot of sleep when you have customer commitments and you still have to get writing done. And also other authors warned us about this, but like you have to reread the whole thing numerous times. And so we probably read it three times so far. I read the entire book basically this weekend to do edits and we'll probably read it two or three more times as we go through galley proofs and other things. That Those are the steps that make it really, really good that refine it, but it's just not fun to do that, right? To read your own voice that many times. <laughs> yeah. Joe and Matthew, thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for writing the book, Fundamentals of Data Engineering. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Yeah, thank you. You can access this book on O'Reilly now, or you can pre-order on Amazon. But guess what? We're giving away five copies to whoever uses the book emoji in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and make sure to follow Census for more tips and tricks on how to stand out in your data career. And get more giveaways. <laughs> <laughs>